Hey, you. Oh, you're back. What do you want? Teach me about figure base. What? You couldn't figure it out yourself? <laughs> hey, it's really hard. Just help me out so I don't fail theory again. Okay. There are two parts to figured base. The base note. And the numbers. Okay, but what do I do with them? Well, the base note is the base note, so nothing's played below it. Okay, that makes sense so far. And the numbers refer to the intervals above the bass to the other chord tones. Uh, how about we do some practice with some examples and hopefully that'll clear things up. Okay, I guess. Okay, so for this first trick, I need you to pick a note, any note. Okay, um, how about C? C. C. Perfect. And now I need a number between 2 and 7. Why those numbers? Because it really doesn't matter what octave the other chord tones are in. Just what they are. Okay, um, I guess I'll pick four. Four! Sorry, I haven't played golf in a while. So now we start on C and go up the scale until we get to the fourth. One. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. We gotta start on C as one, cause one is a unison. Yeah, yeah. So the bass note is one, and then you count up from there. One. So it's an F. Yes. And if you pick the number six, you'd go up two more steps. Six. So an A. Yes. So if you had a bass note of C and the numbers were four and six, what would the notes be? Well, C is the bass and the other notes would be F and A? Exactly. But how do I know if there are any accidentals? Follow the key signature. Follow, 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 follow. Copyright, man. Dude. Copyright. So I just follow what the key signature says? That, and then you look for alteration markings on the numbers. numbers. What kind of markings? Well, if there's a flat sign by the number, you lower by a half step. And if there's a sharp sign by the number or a line through the number, then you raise by a half step. Also, if you see an alteration but no number, that means it applies to the third above the base. Okay, but on some of my homework, the numbers are all missing. Ah, uh, yes. This is a common shorthand because people are lazy. So if you see no numbers at all, it's a 5 and a 3. And if you see just a 6, there should also be a 3. Okay, and if I'm given all the notes first, I can probably just reverse this process to figure out the numbers, right? Exactly. It's all about the intervals above the bass note. Just remember that the octave the note is in doesn't matter. So if you see a note a tenth above the bass, that's still a three. Okay, well thanks for helping me out again. I'm sure I'll be back soon.